All right, welcome back, folks. We're here with another exciting edition of Kyle's Beer Review. Beer Review with Kyle. This stuff. Get that red apple power stop. Gonna do another review here. I had this one way. <coughs> excuse me, way, way back in the fridge here. And for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights, this is a great, great beer, folks. A kick ass beer. <coughs> this is the Vanilla Java Porter. Excuse me. <coughs> Vanilla Java Porter from the Atwater Brewing Company. Uh, not really sure what that logo is supposed to be. Uh, this is a Vanilla Java Porter. Vanilla Porter with Java. And in the bottle it says malt beverage brewed with coffee, beans, with natural flavor added, vanilla bean extract. 5% <coughs> alcohol by volume. And the IBUs are 13. Atwater Brewing Company out of Detroit, Michigan. Detroit, Michigan. Uh, this is a great, great beer, folks. Uh, in fact, one of the top vanilla porters I've ever tried. Uh, it's excellent. Uh, in fact, Atwater, I've had two Atwater beers. They've both been phenomenal. Even their blonde was great, so... Uh, this was way back in the fridge. I think I purchased this a couple months ago. It should be good. Let's see if we got a, a date it was brewed on. Not sure. Finally, it says malt beverage. And really, you know, the artwork of that water is pretty cool. You know, like a deco art, like almost like a Michelangelo type thing there. Uh, go ahead and get the bottle cap off and get a pour on this Atwater Brewing Company. Here's our Atwater bottle cap. Brewed in Detroit, wears everywhere. Pretty neat uh, assumption there. Atwater Brewing Company bottle cap. But again, this is a killer beer. I've, I've always liked this. Uh, if you like vanilla porters, which is a pretty good market for them. Uh, oh, I've said first they were going that's Alaskan Company. Alaskan Brewery Company, kind of a faint. They don't have any glassware from Atwater, unfortunately. We'll have to change that. And we'll get the pour here on this vanilla Java Atwater Porter. This has been in my fridge for a while. Way in the back. I was like, the one with the Red's Peach Ale, I just did the Red's Apple. I'm kind of, you know, that's the same as the Red's Apple, just peach. And there's the bottle cap. Okay, 5% of the volume. This is actually, this is actually really excellent because it's a great beer. It's low ABV, 5%. And it's reasonably priced. Nine bucks for a six pack of this. You paid that for the Red Apple Ale. You almost feel just like you were raped. I mean, this is a great beer, folks. Still at the pour there. The color, it made about a quarter inch finger of an off-white beige color head there. The aroma, you know, not a whole lot of the aroma. I don't know if this is because this has been in our fridge for a while. Got another sniff. You get some, a little bit of coffee, a lot of vanilla, some dark malts in there. Uh, definitely a vanilla flavoring, a little bit of coffee notes. I'll let that beer sit for a minute. But Atwater Brewing Company overshadowed a bit in Michigan. Uh, they, you know, with, with obviously with Founders Bells, New Highland, Dark Horse, Shorts, Jolly Pumpkin, I think Arbor Brewing. Uh, you can go on and on in the state of Michigan. But these guys... From what I've drank, they're holding their own. This is a great beer. Here's the head. It's starting to spin. So let's go ahead and get a, a sip on this. I'll get a rating on this Vanilla Java Porter. Wow. Oh. That is excellent. And I think it's even gotten better aging a bit. I mean, it's, when I say aging, it's been here since maybe April. That is coffee, vanilla... Right on there, pal. That's an excellent beer, man. That is that's awesome. I I, I can drink this. Five percent smooth, excellent. You know, I was gonna rate this a B B plus, but it it that coffee flavor just goes right down your palate. It's it's coffee up front, a nice vanilla finish. You get coffee up front, vanilla finish, some mark some dark light dark chocolate in there as well. This is excellent. This is phenomenal. I'm gonna say her this. Uh, well done, the boys at Atwater. Let me write them in. I'm gonna write them my nest and. This is good, and for the price too. I mean, nine bucks a six pack. <laughs> a, a beer. That, that's phenomenal. Get another sip on this here. Wow. Wow, you said vanilla going down the go No. That is, you can't fake that, Chris. That is excellent. This is a great, great, great vanilla porter. Uh, great coffee flavor. Vanilla's there. This is blowing the Breckenridge away. And I, you know, I, sorry, the Breckenridge has they're not singing up with this at all. This is an excellent beer. Uh, it's an A beer for me. Uh, nothing wrong with this. I, I would. This is you know, if you if people like vanilla porters, try this one. I'm telling everybody now. I you know again, if you like vanilla porters, if you don't like porters or vanilla beers and coffee, then 
if you're a hot pet, you're not going to like this. But anybody that likes any kind of porters or any kind of coffee, vanilla beers, or just coffee. I mean, you could just be a coffee guy and drink this and vanilla flavoring. This is... It, this tastes better, and it tasted great last time. I, was, I had Iowa hype to coming in. I don't know if it's just sat for... You can age porters and with the vanilla, not hop. The hops are good flat. Uh, life's too short again, my friends. I've rambled on enough, but... Cheers to the boys at Atwater Brewing Company. Vanilla Java Porter. Uh, dr drink great beer like this one, the Vanilla Java Porter. And again, thanks to the boys at Atwater. This is great. A-plus beer. Excellent Vanilla Porter. And uh, hopefully hopefully you can get out and try this great beer. A-beer for me. Until next time, see you guys. Bye.